In Nanjing, a visionary project is transforming the city's polluted skyline into a living, breathing forest. Two towering structures, 200 and 108 meters tall, are adorned with over 1,100 trees and 2,500 shrubs covering 4,500 square meters of greenery. This unique vertical forest is designed to absorb 25 tons of carbon dioxide annually and produce 60 kilograms of fresh oxygen each day, directly addressing urban pollution. Beyond its ecological impact, the towers host a mix of offices, hotels, and cultural spaces, blending functionality with sustainability. The innovative design also restores local biodiversity using native plant species carefully chosen to thrive in the region's climate. As cities worldwide grapple with environmental challenges, this project offers a bold model for urban living. But how does this towering forest balance sustainability with the challenges of construction and maintenance? Let's find out. Nanjing, a historic city in eastern China, finds its air increasingly shrouded by the byproducts of industrial progress. Thick layers of particulate matter hang in the atmosphere, a stark reminder of the city's ongoing battle with pollution. But why does the air here seem especially heavy? Weak winds, low temperatures, and high humidity create a perfect storm for pollutants to linger. December 2017 brought one such episode as smog rolled in from distant industrial hubs, enveloping the city and pushing PM 2.5 levels dangerously high. The consequences were dire. Residents faced heightened risks of respiratory and cardiovascular illnesses, with the most vulnerable bearing the brunt. The situation demanded an answer. But what could rise to meet a challenge this great? Enter the vision of Stefano Boeri, an architect renowned for redefining urban landscapes by seamlessly intertwining them with nature. Boeri proposed a revolutionary idea, the Nanjing Vertical Forest. Located in the Puko District, a critical area driving Jiangsu Province's modernization, this project aimed to reimagine urban development as a force for ecological restoration. Inspired by Boeri's groundbreaking Bosco Vertical in Milan, the Nanjing Vertical Forest would combine urban functionality with nature's cleansing power. Picture this, two towers adorned with over 1,100 trees and 2,500 shrubs, spanning 23 local species. Together, these plants would absorb 25 tons of carbon dioxide annually and produce 60 kilograms of oxygen daily. But their impact didn't stop there. They could help lower temperatures, regulate humidity, and counteract the heat island effect, offering city dwellers cleaner air and a more livable environment. The innovation extended far beyond clean air. The vertical forest aimed to restore biodiversity, reintroducing native plant species, and creating habitats for birds and insects in the heart of the city. It wasn't about the environment alone. It was about people, too. By wrapping urban spaces in greenery, the project promised a profound connection to nature, enhancing mental well-being and providing a tranquil escape from the chaos of urban life. But how did they bring this bold vision to life? Comprised of two towers rising to heights of 200 and 108 meters, the project incorporates extensive greenery across its facades. This ambitious integration of nature into vertical urban spaces required groundbreaking construction techniques, meticulous planning, and an unwavering commitment to sustainability. The primary challenge in constructing the Nanjing Vertical Forest was integrating 1,100 trees, 2,500 shrubs, and a variety of cascading plants into the architectural framework. To achieve this, the towers were designed with cantilever terraces that span the height of the buildings. These terraces were engineered to support specialized planting tanks while maintaining the structural integrity of the tower. These tanks not only house the vegetation, but also manage water drainage, ensuring the tree's long-term health and preventing water damage to the underlying structure. The selection of greenery was equally critical. Local plant species were chosen to align with the regional climate, reducing maintenance needs and ensuring the vegetation could withstand Nanjing's weather conditions, including humidity and temperature fluctuations. 
These plants also had to balance aesthetic appeal with ecological benefits, offering visual variety while contributing to air purification, carbon dioxide absorption, and temperature regulation. The structural demands of the project were immense. Supporting the substantial weight of the vegetation and soil without compromising safety required advanced engineering. The planting tanks were reinforced with lightweight but durable materials capable of retaining soil and water while minimizing the load on the cantilever terraces. Each tank was carefully calibrated to ensure that the vegetation's roots had enough space to grow without exceeding the weight capacity of the balconies. But greenery also invites an invisible challenge – wind. How do you ensure the towers remain stable when covered in foliage that increases wind resistance? Engineers conducted extensive wind tunnel tests using scaled models equipped with sensors. These tests informed modifications to the terrace layout, ensuring stability during high winds and optimizing the placement of greenery to act as natural windbreaks. The physical construction of the Nanjing Vertical Forest required meticulous execution, particularly when integrating the greenery into the design. Cranes were used to place trees and shrubs on the terraces, with each plant carefully positioned to ensure even distribution of weight. The planting process was carried out in phases, starting with the highest levels and working downward, allowing for continuous monitoring and adjustments. And then there's the soil. What kind of soil can support such diverse vegetation without becoming too heavy? Custom soil mixtures were developed, balancing these requirements to ensure the long-term health of the vegetation. Advanced irrigation systems were integrated into the design to provide consistent watering, further supporting the plant's growth and reducing maintenance requirements. Despite meticulous planning, the project faced significant challenges. Selecting appropriate species for such a dense and vertical environment was complex. The greenery needed to thrive in limited space while providing maximum ecological benefits. The plants also had to endure urban pollutants and varying levels of sunlight, requiring detailed assessments and continuous adjustments during planting. The integration of the vegetation into a high-rise structure also posed logistical challenges. Transporting and positioning the trees at significant heights required specialized equipment and careful coordination. Each tree and shrub had to be inspected before placement and the planting process demanded precision to prevent structural imbalances or damage to the terraces. The management of wind loads presented additional difficulties. The extensive greenery created unique aerodynamic conditions with potential risks of uprooting during high winds. To mitigate these risks, engineers conducted detailed wind studies, adjusting the planting arrangement and reinforcing critical points along the facade. The project's success relied not only on innovative construction, but also on sustainable maintenance practices. A multi-tiered system was developed to ensure the health of the vegetation over time. This system included internal maintenance, external inspections via descender systems, and continuous monitoring by experts. Specialized irrigation systems provided water efficiently while preventing oversaturation, and regular inspections ensured the plants remained healthy and well-maintained. The project also addressed seasonal changes, with the vegetation designed to adapt to variations in temperature and humidity. By selecting resilient native species, the need for frequent replacements was minimized, reducing maintenance costs and ensuring the forest's sustainability. While the Nanjing Vertical Forest is a landmark in sustainable design, it faced skepticism and challenges during its development. Critics questioned the feasibility of incorporating such extensive greenery into a high-rise, citing concerns over weight, maintenance, and long-term viability. These doubts drove the team to innovate further, refining their approach to address potential issues. As a result of these challenges, the project, originally scheduled for completion in 2018, faced significant delays. However, it is now set to be completed soon, marking a pivotal moment in urban architecture. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates.